Palito Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with I'm Alan Partridge Season 2, Episode 2, The Color of Alan. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to dive right into that subscribe button, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh, you go! Oh, my bad. That was Roxanne by the police, or as they're now known, Sting. <laughs> Song there about a prostitute. Doesn't say what a surname is. Uh, must give her a call sometime. Uh, the effects of 23 years on the game would not render her pleasurable to my eye. <laughs> Alan's funny stories. <laughs> uh, just have a one quick funny story before the news on line four. We have Roy from Bungie. Hello, Roy. Hello. Funny story, what is it? I sold this Makia cordless power drill in the local paper and then six months later I received the very same one back as a Christmas present from my brother-in-law, minus the power pack. I see. So you, uh, you, you, the present you gave away, you then got back? Yeah, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny story. Alan's got funny stories. <laughs> what is a funny story? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder who got the power pack. <laughs> Almost there, Alan. Push it. Push it. Five more seconds. News. <laughs> oh. How, how can you set fire to your hands? That's a good question. Oh, hello. Carl. There's a lot of room in here. It's nice to be able to sort of jog around, excuse me. Jog around this place. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good. I'm in quite a good mood today because I just found out my, uh, my wife's been struck off my life insurance. Spice World. <laughs> yeah, are you married? Yeah. Uh, divorced. Yeah. I've got access to the kids, but they don't want to see me. <laughs> Created the floor. No bodies underneath there, I hope. <laughs> what? I'm just joshing here now. Have you booked a corpse under the patio? <laughs> I expect you get that all the time. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Actually, that skirting board does seem a bit too low. Could you could you change it again? Dear Lord. <laughs> oh my he God. He happily thinks I'm a right indecisive tit. <laughs> I don't think he likes it when you do that anxious. Josh going through some things. I, I think he's going through some things. Well, well, I'll, well I'll, I'll stop then. Can you not put your foot on? I wasn't going to, I was just going to do a cockney walk. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Actually, I've got some good news because I've just come into a rather substantial amount of money because I'm going to host a sales conference for Dante's of Reading, the Ferrari of the coal effect gas fireplace industry. And if this job comes off, then as regards decision making, I think we'll be in a can-do-go situation. <laughs> I won't bore you with the details. Great. Right. Right. Hands off your cocks, not with your socks. Oh. <laughs> it's just an army saying. Give us another one, Michael. Uh. Kill, kill, stop, twist, kill! <laughs> Michael's going to be staying here for a bit till they uh, put his front door back on. <laughs> Welcome aboard the good ship, my house. <laughs> Do you want to tell Michael there's no smoking in the house? Uh, but, but, but there's actually no smoking in the house. Do you want to tell her whose house it is? It, it's my house. <laughs> You can see it. You can see it from your face. It's a matter of height. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, fuck off. Seconds out. Round one. Ding, ding. <laughs> no, I'd never let that happen. He'd batter you. <laughs> what have you got? He'd batter you. I've got your book signing at 12 o'clock, and you're meeting at Choristers with Pete Moran from Dante Fires. Mary Poppins, what's that? <laughs> well, that? Hey, that's me bike. That's Desert Storm. <laughs> Well, the Iraqis must have been petrified when they saw it on the horizon. Especially if it had one of those cigarette cards in the spokes, so it went...
Ah, I love this show. Can you two bury the hatchet over a machine coffee? After you, Lynn. Thank you. Probably me next. <laughs> Lynn, I need to speak to you about something. Sonia has made me this. It's a mug with my face on one side and a cat on the other. What does it mean? I don't know. I've no idea. And I think she's planning something much worse. She's talking about selling this stuff down at the covered market. Ooh. It's a disaster. I don't want my face on, on this. I want it on this. I want it on a, on a jar of pasta. Did you hear back from Dolmio about my pasta gravy sauce? No. Let it go. Hey, do you fancy a cup of delicious microwavable soup? Oh, uh, yeah. Just pop, pop it in the microwave. Hey, Michael, can you imagine if they had... Uh, Microwaves in medieval times. Yeah. There's a giant microwave. You just pop a witch in it. Right. Horrific. <laughs> <laughs> a giant microwave. You could just pop a witch in it. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, she's innocent. Yeah. <laughs> if she bursts, she's innocent. <laughs> Comes out looking normal, but cold on the outside and hot in the middle. She's a witch. Let's remember to take the foil off first. Yeah, no, that's just pies. Uh. Do you mind me watching Quarrel on UK Gold? No, no, no. As long as you pop the earphones on. Oh, you have. <laughs> Look at her. Dead to the world. She's sitting in the exact spot where me and Sonia have it off. <laughs> so you want still, uh, doing it twice a day? Yeah, you know, diary permitting. <laughs> You didn't give yourself a heart attack. No, it's actually quite good for you. It's good for you. It's, it's cardiovascular exercise. Because if you think about it, it's, it's like press ups, isn't it? I suppose, yeah, because you are, you know, you are sort of working the major muscle groups. Like, you know. <laughs> that is a woman. <laughs> uh, it looks like long, long hair. Could be Brian May. <laughs> but uh, that's not his cup of tea. Oh. That's the other one. God rest his oh. soul. Actually, I've got a book signing to do later. I've got to pop up to Choristers and get the PA. Right. They haven't lost it. The security is terrible. Probably even let some like you in. That's ridiculous. I know, and the person who stole your front door. <laughs> oh, there's Sonia. Talk to the builders, Link. Yeah. Oh, God. You just take normal photograph into Snappy Snaps and you put the photo on cushion. And this cushion is called Scatter Cushion. It's brilliant. I call it the Scatter Love Cushion. <laughs> because it um, represents my love for Ellen. You can see on his face. <laughs> what do you mean? You can see on Ellen's face. You know, it's, it's a joke. It's a very filthy joke. And Ellen is hitting it. That's English for stop a horse. She's been very disgusting. What did he say? He said, I sit on her face. <laughs> You've been spying on us. <laughs> Sonia, I'll handle this. Go and sit at the static home. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, I'm a communist with a gun. Uh, I hate you a lot. I've just thrown the royal family out of the plane. Can I use your toilet? Post Malone. If y'all weren't here, I'd be... Can I use your toilet? Uh, if y'all were here, I'd be crying to her. Uh, Post is awesome, but I don't really, I haven't really listened to a lot of his music. Just the songs that he's done, I guess that became popular. I don't listen to a lot of people, though. I have a very small circle of people that I regularly listen to. But it continues to grow as I continue to react, react to more uh, music. So. I think uh, country, country music. I never used to listen to, and now I listen to country music all the time. Uh, and my guy, y'all know. My, if if you watch my music reaction or my channel where I do music reactions, it's Captain Morgan. Tom, 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 Tom. Hello, commuters with your computers. <laughs> This book would fit ideally into uh, an attaché case or the thigh pockets of a pair of fashionable combat trousers. Uh, not like those massive Stephen King books. They should be on wheels, shouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. 
For £10, you get a very good book and a free torch, a Danko <laughs> nightstick, as used in futuristic series The X-Files. There's a demonstration model tied to the chair with a skipping rope by that woman. <laughs> Train for Lowestoft is on platform four. Uh, it leaves in five minutes, so uh, better learn to jog again quickly. <laughs> if you seriously run, you will miss it. This book is a top business aid, as I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you are, sir. Look at that, not even listening. <laughs> Go to London. I guarantee you'll either be mugged or not appreciated. Catch the train to London, stopping at Rejection, Disappointment, Jeez. Backstabbing Central and Shattered Dreams Parkway. God dang! Alan, Alan, there. Oh. Pete Moran from Dante Fires, he's just got off the train. No one's seen me. Why not? To the untrained eye, this could look like it's rubbish and I haven't bounced back. But you have. I know! <laughs> just point him out to me. He's got a beard. He's got him. Hi, I'm Alan Partridge. Ah, uh, Pete. Yeah, yeah. You don't mind if I just do that, like that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting for you to come and meet me at the station. Yeah, sorry about the smell of urine, but uh, yeah, there really is nothing to do around here. No, with a patch, it was a one-stop shop. What part of Birmingham are you from? No, Ellen, I'm actually from South Africa. Oh, yes, of course. Mm. To the guest. <laughs> this is a bit of a laugh. Security guard, yeah? Hello, security. I am an arsonist with a big box of matches. Please, can I come in to set fire to the star? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's quite good. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I mean, they know who I am, you know, but uh, you, you could be a sex offender. <laughs> all, all right, yes, you've come to use the excellent facilities, but you're still a sex offender. But I'm not a sex offender. It's all right, they won't ask you about it. <laughs> but I'm not a sex offender. Right, that's something we've got in common. But, uh, no, the security is terrible here. I mean, I actually booked the room under the name of the real IRA. <laughs> <laughs> but in <laughs> That's, yeah, secu security just ain't worried about Alan Partridge. That's it's an eyelid. Is. I'll just go and tell them it's me. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. <laughs> What's the problem? Cross wires. Well, uh, should we go to Apache? Well, my house. No electricity. Well, you know, I'd just like to see the setup. Yes, we'll go straight to Apache after a pub lunch for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, there's some really nice houses around here. Yeah, actually, it's a bit of a building site. I mean, technically, you should have a hat hard on. <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, a hat hard on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how do you do? How nice to meet you. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> how do you do? This is Michael. It's a very unusual accent you've got there. Where are you from? Oh, I'm originally from Newcastle Lake. <laughs> Michael's in charge of our uh, internet computer. Hi. Uh, there's knee porn on it. <laughs> you understand that? No. Good. This is Len. Close your mouth, Len. Yeah. <laughs> he is an absolute savage to live, bro. I swear he is a savage to lead. I don't know how she puts up with it. Um, well, should we move through to what is clearly the conference area? Sir, this is Apache Communications. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we normally have three clocks on the wall there, telling the time in London, Paris, and Dublin. <laughs> Which is the same as London, but I, I do think sometimes you need to be reminded of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying to hear your ideas for the fireplace conference, Alan. Um, uh, grab a sofa. Just over here? Sure, yeah. Let me tell you a bit about the setup here. You can't use the toilet because it's blocked. <laughs> yeah, you see, at Apache, we way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... So this is a new table. It's not quite finished. Do you want to pop this on? Oh no, it's hiding a handle. Piece <laughs> of fruit? Uh, nothing. Did you see that? <laughs> I think the designer has gone for that uh, toilet door balanced on a Black & Decker workmate effect. Ellen, <laughs> uh, I can't yeah, see no, you. That's fine. No problem. I'll just uh, hop up here. 
A caravan there? Who's this? That the builders live in there. Yeah. Len sometimes goes in there. I don't think there's anything going on. <laughs> I told her I disapprove of uh, workplace relationships, but uh, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> Sofa. <laughs> Just sit on the couch next to him. Sofa. <laughs> I like this time of evening when, when the lighting is quite bad. Yeah. Feeling. <laughs> Three, two, one, land. <laughs> so, uh, shall we start, Ellen? Yes. Now, the main thing. So... <laughs> something quite quick. <laughs> now, as we always say at Dente Fires, what is the burning issue? <laughs> That's good, that burning issue fireplace, I like it. So uh, what we want to do is we want to give our sales force something inspirational. <laughs> okay, what are you laughing no, at? I'm just still laughing at the, uh, the burning issue thing. Very, very good joke. <laughs> Absolutely terrible, bro. Yeah. You want me to put it in the middle? That would be tremendously helpful. Okay. Should we put the lights on or should we, should we, should we wait 15 minutes? Never mind that, Alan. All I want to know is can you give us a pyrotechnics and light show? Absolutely. We can do you pyrotechnics. <laughs> we can do you pyrotechnics. Let me start with a couple of humorous comments, uh, a couple of jokes, perhaps. We don't want a clown, Alan. Oh, God, no, no, you don't want a clown. No, no, I mean, they'd never get to the podium with those long shoes on. <laughs> Actually, how do clowns go down in South Africa? Yeah, because with all that makeup on, they're neither one thing nor the other. <laughs> Are they allowed on buses? Look, Alan. No clowns, no gags. Just, just a couple of jokes? No, Alan, no. Please. No, you can't! <laughs> Oh. Well, there's no need oh, for okay. that. <laughs> well, there was a couple of jokes. You can't! You've done it again! <laughs> You've said it again! <laughs> Just because I've got a shit table. <laughs> what do you want? I want you to turn the lights on. Good call. Michael! Hi. Oh, you're there. Sorry. Um, shall we pop the lights oh, on? Hang on. Mind your heat. Come on, door. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's... It, it, uh, now... <laughs> It does look to me like, uh... <laughs> dear Lord, bro, dear Lord. Torches attached to a bicycle wheel. <laughs> probably designed by the same person who did the table. Yeah. I like South Africa, and I hated those people who wouldn't trade with you in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> dear God, bro. Oh. Now, Katy Perry is someone I rock with heavy. Did it say Katy Perry? I thought so. Maybe not. Oh, no. <laughs> I've reacted to their videos, too. Oh, this is, uh, this is sad, man. Shout out to everyone uh, helping to donate uh, to these kids to fight against this cause and operation tomorrow. Carried on buying your tomatoes all through that period. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say tomato. Tomato. I say potato, you say potato. Potato. Well, the whole thing, a thoroughly nice chap, and uh, doesn't matter what the race is. When? Yes. Oh, you there. Um, I, I don't think this is quite bright enough. I think we're going to have to go nuclear. Look, Alan, it's too late to get. Oh. Sorry, uh, it's easily done. If you can be angry, if you, you don't mind being angry down the centre of the table. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this meeting's over, I'm taking this table back. It's bloody useless. <sighs> you hit the hazards! <laughs> if I said full beam once, I must have said it a dozen times. <laughs> Level with me, Pete.
Have I got this job? Given that it's too late to book anyone else, the answer has to be yes. Jack and Akinori. <laughs> well, that's better. Full bean. He's terrible. Full bean. <laughs> For the conference, I'd like four glitter explosions, 12 puff flashes, and yeah, so the sequence would be puff flash, puff flash, bang. <laughs> Well, basically, could I have a condensed Pink Floyd concert for £500? <laughs> yes. OK, thanks, Len. You want to eat? What have we got? We got eggs, we got chicken. Which came first? Well, I just bought the chicken on Thursday. Yeah, I'll yeah, oh, just check it. It's empty. What do you mean? The chicken is empty. What do you mean it's empty? What do you mean it's hollow? Well, there's a chicken inside you the chicken. Buy, you didn't buy a display model, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you the giblets? Yeah, giblets, yeah, giblets. Yeah, giblets are that. awful. Well, I like them. You might eat them in your country, sweetheart. We don't hear. We <laughs> <laughs> don't eat an intestine or a chicken heart on, on, a, on a mini muffin. Like some sort of voodoo canapé. <laughs> you want to make love? The bed's ready. Ah, <laughs> oh, fine, thanks. Let's <laughs> go check on Michael. Okay. I love you. Thanks a lot. Yay! Hey. Hello, Michael. Well, do you want to be on your own? Oh, no. No, fine. It's nice to have a bit of company, you know. Keep the demons at bay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, actually, can you imagine if, if we were the last two people on Earth camped out up here? Cool, oh, yeah. Hey, we'd, we'd have to breed. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think I prefer to adopt. Candy. So we had to breed. I think I'm afraid to that. That's nice. Uh, I'd, I'd adopt a greyhound. Because the last one I had was right clever, you know. Yeah, they were that clever. They'd know that thing that they chase after isn't a rabbit. Mind you, know, if this uh, fireplace conference guns well, you could get yourself a helicopter. Yeah, I'd love to fly a helicopter. There's no doubt about it, Michael. The world's getting smaller. Uh, that's global warming. <laughs> oh, that's something different. I'd just like to fly a helicopter all round Norfolk, you know, swoop down over a field, scare a donkey so it falls into a river. <laughs> and hover over one of those annoying families that go on holiday on bikes. You know, and shout at them, get out of the area! And watch them panic. <laughs> Me? I'd, I'd, I'd have a, an Apache attack helicopter. Oh, mm. great. I'd get back to school. First I'd take out the labs. And then I'd type into the attack computer, Mr. Crag. Chemistry teacher. <laughs> Blown to bits. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling. And then I'd go looking for Tom Donaldson. I'd be hovering, just doing the road from his hooks there. And he'd see it, but I'd duck down behind the trees. And he thinks he's safe, right? And he's just about to put the key in his front door. And I come up from behind the hedge. Hello, you bastard. <laughs> he panics, right? And he guns in the hoose. So I get the 30 millimeter cannon and I take out the fish pond. <laughs> Koi carp in there. <laughs> 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 hey, Michael might need some help. <laughs> Michael might need some help. And then, I just tilt the helicopter over to one side. <laughs> and the machine gun bullets is chewing up the drive, right? He comes out. Oh no, not me try, I'm stuck. I've just had a breeze. <laughs> 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 I cut it right in half, right? And then he goes, ah! He runs up onto the garage roof. I say, right, this is for you, Tom. He goes, no, no. He's begging us, he's begging us, man. No, please don't. <laughs> And then I'd fly off to Cornwall and I'd just smash into the sea in a big ball of flames. <laughs> then he's begging this man. Sleep well, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tom Donaldson? Oh, he's just a bit. <laughs> I've just swallowed a load of anthrax and I'd like to let off like mad in the club bar. Can I come in? You haven't opened the gate. Well done. Now, I've just remembered I've forgotten my card. Um, ah, dang. I was showing it to a Geordie last night. Uh, he asked to hold it and I've gone and left it in his bloody hands. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Right, I think what's happened here is I made a complaint about you and you're pursuing a vendetta, which I can understand. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Right. You, you do know who I am? Uh, um, 
I've got it. There's, I, there's a complimentary copy of my book bouncing back behind reception. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. Right, great. Well, I'll replicate the cover stance. Okay, go on then. Fence. You should watch yourself. You're nearly 50. Were you going to say I was nearly 50 then? Right, we need 50 then, but I'm at least I can focus. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Little pierce my foot on this thigh. Oh my god. Then all the blood will run out the hole in my foot, you know. Yes. I'll leave it on the spike. Pull it off the spike. Oh, After three. No, I'm not going to do it then. You pull your off. Oh, mine's not on the spike. Oh, oh. Someone coming. Be normal. Be normal. <laughs> Hello, Dante Fires. Just do that. Oh, you're going to have a good time. Just being a bit... Um, I feel the blood squelching in my shoe. Oh. Yeah, it's squelching. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, you got to get to a hospital, Alan. My God. Ah. Oh. That's a lot of blood. You finna lose your foot, God dang it. Oh, look at you. You should be in hospital. Some of these people have come from Stoke. Shall I go with you? Lynn, you couldn't present a cat. You couldn't present... Maybe you're here tonight with a wife or an old flame. <laughs> but what is the burning issue? <laughs> Hit your targets or you'll be fired. <laughs> but today is also about fun. <laughs> Have you all got your fun packs? I've got one here. Oh my god, bro. Like, you know how much pressure, he would have had to, like, fully step his foot on that spike and, like, push it down for it to just come up to do it like that. Sheesh, dear lord. You're making Jesus. I guess there's no ad here. They're just straight up like someone. Why? Why would they waste our time like this? I don't know. Ever since I stopped paying, ever since I started paying for premium YouTube, I haven't had to deal with that. So this just reminds me of when I didn't have it, and I watched a lot of ads. I've got a list here. It should contain a torch, a curly whirly, a book of stamps. A free digital watch with denim strap, a vodka miniature, a big style razor, and a copy of the Daily Express. Ooh, it's a good paper. <laughs> now, first award tonight is for best Christ. <laughs> Christ, uh, sorry, I keep saying Christ. Uh, I know some of you may be religious, and to those people, I apologize. <laughs> Close it that later. Just wait for it to finish. A, a glittering year ahead. You might want to read your Daily Express. Don't say that torch in my face, mate. That's lost the kind of blood. On now, as we look back at a fantastic year for direct vents that was going to be seeing again. <laughs> Nothing coming up. Oh my God! 
I'm getting sick. August Buck the Trend for downturn in fireplace sales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I like the Stop devil. it, Alice. Stop yeah, yeah. That's not Please going stop. back in again. You want some more glitter? <laughs> <laughs> Too great, that cost. <laughs> I was going to give out some, some awards. But uh, that's not going to happen. Oh, look at me. Go and eat some coffee and drink it. Um, it's soup you can eat, but lots of liquid. <laughs> oh my no, 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 God! No, no. Move forward. I mean, I mean keep, 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 keep moving. You go in the right direction. That's it. Michael, I've got the Viet now. I'm going to take this no, off. No, leave it. Leave it for a minute. Michael, this doesn't feel like a treat. Look, all right, Ricky, right, that, that way. Take, take it off now. There, look, I, I've made you a helicopter landing pad. <laughs> Dear Jesus. That's a small light. No, man, it's, it's, it's big. Look, you can see that from space. <laughs> Michael, I don't want aliens to see this from space. It will be embarrassing. They will go <laughs> down through there. Giant mm. telescope and say, Look at that idiot, he's got a baby H. <laughs> I, I, I done it just to tee up, like, you know, because the fireplace job was knackered and Apache Productions is probably gonna, gonna do in the pan like all the other companies which have started. <laughs> Michael, that may very, very well be the case, but I am happy. Now, that may very, very well be because I am on morphine. <laughs> You put an M on your forehead. Why? Well, that's what you do with battlefield casualties there. You know, you, you put an M on the forehead so that the doctors know they've had morphine. It's dangerous. It's not so a little helicopter can land on your forehead. <laughs> your helicopter doesn't begin with M. So I'd like that, it. though. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah, a little helicopter land on your head. This rotor blade to cool you, cool you down like a little hand fan on your forehead. Oh, come on, you've definitely had morphine, haven't you? Yeah, do you want some sugar pops? Ah, oh, that'd be nice. Love right. sugar. Oh. <laughs> Helicopters, the little helicopter. Yeah, you know, really helicopters. Uh, like the beginning of maths. That begins with an M. <laughs> oh, that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Dimir. Out.